KVGC News Time now seven minutes after the hour of seven o'clock. Time for a look at the news for a Friday, the eleventh day of August, two thousand seventeen. Former school district official Elizabeth Chapin Panotti will be required to pay almost two hundred thousand dollars in restitution to her former employee following a court hearing yesterday. Judge Steve Hermanson sentenced Chapin Panotti to pay one hundred ninety-seven thousand dollars in restitution in Amador Superior Court. $1,800 will be paid to the County Office of Education and the balance to the Amador County Unified School District. Last month, as part of a plea bargain, Chapin Panotti pled guilty to a single count of conflict of interest in which she arranged for the school district to buy textbooks she herself had written and financially benefited from. Chapin Panotti's attorney did not contest the amount of restitution, and Chapin Panotti waived her right to a jury trial to determine the amount of restitution. As part of that plea bargain, Chapin Panotti was sentenced to 120 days in county jail, scheduled to begin Monday. But when she arrived in court yesterday, she was in civilian clothes and on her own recognizance. According to Amador County Probation, Chapin Panotti will receive alternative sentencing in which she must wear a GPS monitoring device and have restricted movements for the 120-day length of her sentence instead of time in county jail. Thursday's hearing largely concludes the case against Chapin Panotti, who was arrested in the textbook scheme last August. With the help of two cranes and a lot of manpower yesterday, Kennedy Tailing Wheel Number 1 has a new set of metal braces to rest on. Working well into the night, the crews first lifted the wheel, estimated to weigh between 40 and 50,000 pounds. Ground crews then removed the wooden braces that have held the wheel over the past 103 years and replaced them with a pair of metal braces. By the end of a long day, Wheel 1 now stands upright and has been stabilized. When in operation, the wheels lifted mining tailings from the Kennedy Mine stamp mill to an impound dam constructed to prevent the tailings from reaching streams and creeks and polluting the valley floor. Approximately 850 tons of tailings were produced every 24 hours by the Kennedy. Constructed in 1914, the wheels were originally covered in metal buildings but were exposed to the elements in 1942 when the mine was closed and the buildings were removed for scrap metal. Today, only two of the original four tailing wheels still stand. Wheel 4, which was restored by the city of Jackson a few years back, and now Wheel 1. The tailing wheels were added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1981. Now, if you'd like to help in the continuing efforts to save the Kennedy tailing wheels, you can still contribute by sending a check to the Kennedy Mine Foundation, Post Office Box 684 Jackson 95642. And former Stockton Mayor Anthony Silva will be in Amador County Courts today. Scheduled to appear, Silva, the former mayor of Stockton, faces misdemeanor charges of child endangerment, providing alcohol to a minor, and secretly recording a strip poker game with teenage counselors at a summer camp he ran at Silver Lake two years ago. Attorneys for Silva say they will argue that evidence obtained in a 2015 search of the then mayor's cell phone and subsequently used against him in Amador County should be inadmissible because the phone was illegally seized by federal agents. And Amador County Register of Voters Kim Grady would like us to remind you once again, today is the deadline for candidates to file for a number of special districts throughout the county. Grady says nomination papers are available at either the Amador County Elections Office or the Office of the Secretary of the Special District in which you choose to run. Now, according to Grady, positions are open on 11 various districts. For a complete list, visit the county website. Now, you must be a registered voter residing within that district. And again, the filing period closes at 5 p.m. tonight. For more info, you can contact Grady's office at 223-6465. A special office is like a community, or a special district is like a community services district or a fire protection district. That's a, a special district. Well, tonight, Debbie Wolf and Half Moon Highway will perform at the next to the last TGIF concert of the season. Presented by Amador Arts, these free concerts kick off tonight at 6 o'clock, Molly Joyce Park. Bring your own lawn chairs, picnic, and get ready for a good time. This season marks the 19th year Amador Arts has hosted this free concert series 
in the parks of Amador County. Next Friday, TGIF will wrap up the season with Johnny Norris and the Dangerous Mood at Terra de Oro Winery. For more info, you can always visit amadorarts.org. And that's a look at local news on a gold country Friday morning from the KVGC News Center. I'm Jim Geedy reporting.